Hey, y'all. Welcome, welcome back to Artistic License, my Sunday streamer. We do a little bit of whatever I want. Today, we're going to be playing some more of our 100% Majora's Mask playthrough. Welcome in, guys. Welcome in. Koneko, I see you got the first. Hello. How are you doing this weekend, friend? I hope you're having an amazing weekend. I spent my morning redoing my sound alerts because I'm tired of using the actual sound alerts like that app because like it just dies randomly sometimes and it's bothering me. So I'm in the process of converting them over. So if the sound alerts look a little messy today, I'm sorry. Um, I'm in, in the process. So some of them still live on sound alerts, but some of them have moved to a different platform. So they're strictly in the spell reagents channel points area. All right. Unproductive, but I want to be productive. Oh no. Okaneko, what do you want to do? I know what you could go ahead and do. Um, <laughs> oh, thank you for choosing that one, Koneko. Uh, I'm going to try to make it so they have little graphics and not just the sound come up at some point. The howl is the only one I got fully working. Um, but uh, but yeah, then it was time to get stream started. So I had to stop. <laughs> yeah, but a lot of those sound alerts that were like bits before in the sound alerts app um, are now moved over to channel points. <clears throat> I never really liked that it forced me to do the bits anyways. And that I couldn't just put more in channel points, you know. All right. Well, I know what you can do today, Kaneko. You can do this personality quiz with us. Okay. This is the quiz we're doing. Answer three questions. Really think about your answer. Okay. I have many things to do. I especially want to write. I, but I just, meh. I know what you mean, friend. I know what you mean. Sometimes, like, the first sentence is the hardest, you know, to kind of get out. So this is somebody, they're advertising their album. My third album came out this week, but I just I just thought the the title was so ominous that I wanted to do it. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. So an ant is carrying a leaf up a hill. It is a very small ant. It is a very big leaf. What do you think of first? To step on the ant and its suffering. Oh, no. Uh, to walk beside the ant, follow its journey home. Uh, the weight on your own shoulders to guard the ant from those who'd eat it, who'd step on it. A strange urge to help the ant to carry the leaf yourself. Life itself, just one thing after another, endlessly repeat. The color and background on this is not, this is really hard to read. Um, Sisyphus. <laughs> Sisyphus. Uh, I don't know. Probably I just watch for a bit and like make sure nobody steps on the poor singular ant. It's not even that working on a character sheet. I have the entire thing in my head. I just can't put it on paper. Oh, no. That's the worst kind of writer's block, you know. That's the worst kind of writer's block. Ugh, that sucks. I'm so sorry. I'm sure that it's going to come to you, though, and you're going to be able to write it soon, especially if it's already in your head. It's going to happen. All right, we're going to try to help the ant not get stepped on. The world is at war. There's so much suffering, so much death. You have a chance to end it. The end will be a massacre, but it will be an end. The only one who can accomplish it is your sister. Do you send her to end it knowing that she'll die? Oh, God. Um, a t autistic inertia, which is a pain. Is that where, like, getting started is hard? Is that what it means? Like, start starting a task is hard regardless of how much you want to do it? I assume that's what that means. That's kind of what it sounds like. I won't send her. I won't let the end be a massacre. I send her, shredding my heart, because we need it to end. I send myself, knowing I will probably fail, but I have to try, I, and I cannot send her. I don't, I don't, this is complicated because of my sister. <laughs> we don't get along. <laughs> uh, we don't get along too well. Uh, and what she, I mean, like, also this is, like, she ain't going to end nothing. She ain't, like, my sister, I don't care. My sister's not going to end nothing. Um, <laughs> I get, to, I'll go myself. I'll go myself. Like, I'll go myself. Um, basically I can't switch between busy and resting. Oh, so once you're in rest mode, you stay in rest mode more, more so than neuro, than a neurotypical person. Is that what that means? <clears throat> you stayed up all night. You hear a bird song as the sun slowly rises. Blooming, pale blue, and lilac across the sky. How do you feel? Guilty, ashamed. I didn't mean to stay up this late. I should have been asleep hours ago. I shouldn't have been given into my wants. I should have wasted the dark. 
hopeful, eager to wrap myself in comfort and make eggs and toast, <laughs> sit with a cup of tea and watch the dawn. Sleep, ble- sleepy, placid, I can't feel anything. I'm completely peacefully neutral, like a glass-like surface on a window. Like, so I can't, I can't imagine staying up this late anymore. <laughs> it's hard to imagine. Um, I think maybe this is the closest. I don't think, I don't feel guilty if I, if, like when this used to happen when I was younger, I didn't feel guilty. I just felt like tired. <laughs> just time to go to sleep now. <laughs> um, can't get started. Once I get started, I can't stop until I'm completely done. Oh gosh, that sounds exhausting, Koneko. I'm so sorry. I hope you get past it and are able to do like, do it the way you want to do it. Uh, no, we're not going to leave you anything. Here's the latest. Oh, my God. Advert- you're advertising. You're like, la- OK, that's weird. Anyways, we got answer three. So there's just answer one, two and three. Three is the most common. OK. Crimson and burning. Your knees are pressed to the concrete. Scraped raw as your heart. You're angry. You're sobbing. You can feel all your missing pieces torn away or deformed from the beginning. Your jaw aches from biting down. The blood is like pennies on your tongue. The city lights drip neon. Your heart is punching before your fist over and over and over. Knuckles split you keep going. I assume all of the answers are basically some poetry like this since it's advertising this person's album. I didn't really know what to expect. I was hoping for something a little bit more profound, but I mean, this was fun, I guess. This one wasn't too bad. This one wasn't too bad, but it's not really the style we normally do. Oh, you got, oh, you got a different answer. Okay. Pear green, rolling hills and tall grass. You're running wind in your hair, following the shadows of the fluffy clouds overhead. You can see the whole world up there stretching out far from you. All the people, all their lives and memories and pets. Your heart is full and each beat tells you to keep going. That there is something else to see. Always somewhere new and as important as the rest. You are here and you are here and you are here. Oh, I liked that, Lynn. I liked your answer. I liked your answer a lot, Koneko. It was good. I liked that. Okay. Um, Let's... Get the game started, shall we? Okay. Let me make sure you guys will be able to see it. All right. Here we go. It's Majora time. It's Majora time. Let's turn on our controller for some Majora time. Okay, today we're doing some fun stuff. We're doing some fun stuff. Mostly what we're going to be doing is beating the uh, Sculptula House in Great Bay. But first, we need to show the Happy Mask Salesman our new masks. All right. Oh, it is. The game is loud for me. Let me turn this down just a, just a little hair. Um, let me turn it up for you guys. Okay. I think that's probably right. We'll find out. Okay, so we've definitely got lots of new masks last round. We got the stone mask. We got the captain's hat. Oh, I've got my bunny ears on still. Take those off. Take off the bunny ears. Okay. We also got um, Garo's mask, which is, yeah, this one. And we got Romani's mask. So we're going to go show the happy mask salesman those particular masks. See what he has to say about them. What you got to say about the stone mask? This mask was so useful. That mask... That's the stone mask, isn't it? That is a fine mask. It is filled with an appreciation for things that go unnoticed. You have done some good work. Keep up that pace. I'm counting on you to get my mask. I think I turned the game sound up too much. I turned it back down while I was talking. That mask. That's the Garo's mask, isn't it? If you have that mask, you must be one with quite a bit of courage. Unfortunately, that is not the mask I am looking for. Keep up that pace. I'm counting on you to get my mask. Okay, let's see what he has to say about the captain's hat. That mask. That's the captain's hat, isn't it? That is a splendid thing. It earns the respect and sworn allegiance of legions of soldiers. Unfortunately, that is not the mask I am looking for. Keep up that pace. I am counting on you to get my mask. All right, there's one other that we got during the last cycle, and that was Romani's mask. I gotta get my bunny ears so I can be my true self after this. Okay. That mask. That's Romani's mask, isn't it? That is a nice mask. 
it is a sentimental item that exudes a lot of maturity. You have done some good work. Keep up that pace. I am counting on you to get my mask. All right, let's put our bunny hood back on. And um, what we need to do first, very first, is uh, is we want to go out to Termina Field. We need to collect some bombs and some arrows before we go into the spider house at Great Bay. Um, we got to talk to this man again. Bruh, this time I have an even better sword. Bitch, I got the best sword. Yes, I have a gilded sword, so I'm like extra adult now. Um, so you guys need to stop harassing me every fucking cycle. You need to just you need to just give it up, okay? Just don't harass me. All right, you know what? Um, probably the easiest way to do this is to Deku spin our way to victory. So let's get the Deku mask on. And we're just gonna spin spin. Whee! Okay, the main thing we really need is bombs. We'll be able to get arrows inside of there, I'm pretty sure. So let's do that one and then let's go ahead and go in. I don't wanna waste like too much time out here hunting around for items. Um, because I don't don't think it's necessary. Okay. Uh yeah, there we go. Ipona! Ipona! Ipona, come here. I found a cosplay ears and tail creator that might end up commissioning eventually. Oh my god, that's amazing. Um, they'll have a stand at the festival I'm going to this summer, so I'll go check them out. <gasps> Koneko, that's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. Oh. Oh. Sorry, Epona. I try to run off the edge. That's not what I meant to do. Let's go this way. Okay, here we go. Oh. Oh, come on. Go down. I should have just gone down the stairs. Why did I run this way? So silly of me. So silly. Um, so I'll check them out. Maybe pick up a set. There's going to be a few months. Okay. Well, Koneko, if you get some, you absolutely have to take pictures. Okay. I would like to see. I would like to see the ears and tail. Um, I know online there's some people that do like amazing, beautiful jobs making stuff like that. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, I'm not like super familiar with it. I just have seen it in passing on like the internets and things. Wee! Hop, 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 hop. My horse, hop, hop. My horse, hop, hop. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Okay. All right, Epona. You can't go inside the spider house. You have to stay outside. So we're gonna get off. All right, we didn't get any arrows. What a bummer. Okay, this is the spider house. You have to do the spider house on your um, first day or first night. You absolutely cannot do it later than that or you will not get the prize. So that's why we're in here doing this first. Ah, oh, I did not mean to do that. Okay, our first sculptulus are on the wall and uh, we have our hook shot, so... We want a hook shot for victory. Okay, come here, hook shot. Get him. Oh. Get him. There we go. I'm gonna pick up some pre-made sets at the fair and see if I can handle wearing. Oh, for entire afternoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it it can be kind of challenging, I think. Um I'm not used to headbands anymore. It goes well, I'll probably commission them. Yeah, okay. So I know exactly what you mean because um I was not very good at wearing headbands when I first started streaming. Okay, come on. Give me... You're supposed to have arrows in you. Bitch. Arrows. Yes. Okay. Thank God. I knew it. All right. So, um, I was not very used to wearing headbands when I first started streaming, and I wanted to do the cat ears thing, like, so much. And, uh, <laughs> it was challenging. I'm not going to lie. I'm used to it now, and it's not a big deal. But, um, it was a big deal for a minute when I first started doing the cat ears thing. Okay, there's the Sculptula number three. Come on. Aim, Karen. God. Okay. You use your hookshot a lot in here. So this is really, like, not possible to do without the hookshot. Like, I don't... I'm pretty sure, like, you literally can't. You have to have the hookshot to finish this. So there's three in this first room, and then you hookshot over. And then we're going to come in here. Okay. There's many, many Sculptulas here. First one we're going to get 
is we're going to aim. Ah, oh, bitch. Okay. It's this first jar. Maybe I have to do the cobwebs first. Do I have to burn the cobwebs? Maybe. Okay. There we go. So he pop out. Come on. Taste my sword. There we go. You like it. It's delicious. Okay, we're, we need to do these cobwebs too, so we're going to do that. <clears throat> okay, and then there's also one in this jar. Oh, if I could aim. There we go. Excuse you. Stop being so short so that you can eat my sword. And then there's one up here. There's a couple of these ones in this one where you like look up on the rafters and you can find them. Let's see. Here he is. Oh, oh, this one's literally on the rafters. Come on. There we go. Yay, number six. And then this one is right here. He'll come down, I'm pretty sure, too. Not just up. No, oh, just up. Okay, whatever. Ugh. Aim. Hello. Little bitch. Okay, yeah, he doesn't go down, just up. I thought he went up and down above the, the thing, but I guess not. Okay. All right, so we have seven now. And then we're going to go into this room before we go downstairs. All right, this one, we need to do a couple things. We got to move this bookcase out the way. Move, bitch, get out the way. Get out the way, bitch, get out the way. Yeah. And then there's some inside here. Okay, um, we'll talk to you in a second, sir. There's another moving, where is it? Haha, uh -huh, these guys. So then you got to move these. Kind of annoying. I don't know if there's like a different way you're supposed to do this, but I like move this one and then I move this one and then I move the middle one. Okay, and this Skulchula is in the hole. Okay, come on. Get squared up. There we go. Skulchula die in the hole. All right. <clears throat> now, <laughs> it makes it a whole chilla. It's true, Goneko, it's true. Okay, where'd he go? Okay, here's this one. So we got to put on our captain's hat so he'll talk to us. Oh, I did not mean to kill him. No. I think if I re-enter the room, he'll come back. I'm sorry, sir. I did not mean to kill you. I pressed the wrong button. Okay, let's try that again. Yeah, he's still there. Okay. I'm glad that you are not dead forever, sir. Okay, let's talk to him. Huh? Ah, Captain, sir. It's been a long time since we've seen you. As you have ordered, sir, we are investigating the secrets of this place. According to the information I have obtained, it seems green should be shot six. Okay, uh, this sequence, I think, I might be wrong on this, but I think this sequence changes um, each time. So I'm just checking my notes to make sure I have it written down. So, we've, so we're going to have green, green six. Okay. Yes, you have fulfilled your duties. Ah, thank you, sir. I hope the information I have provided will be of assistance to you, sir. Now, as you ordered, sir, I will finish the last of my duties. Yes, sir. Okay. So there is another one in this room. Oh, thanks for the magic. There's another one in this room. So to get to him, we go over here and we climb, climb, climb. So, yeah, I think it does. I might be wrong on that, but I know I write it down every time and I think it does change. Huh? Ah, uh, Captain.
Center. It's been a long time since we've seen you. As you have ordered, sir, we are investigating the secrets of this place. According to the information I have attained, it seems yellow should be shot first. Okay, so yellow. So we've got yellow one and we've got green six. Okay, I add that to my notes. Thank you, Koneko. Thank you. With, the, with our powers combined, yes, you have fulfilled your duties. Ah, uh, thank you, sir. I hope the information I provided will be of assistance to you, sir. Now, as you ordered, sir, I will finish the last of my duties. Yes, sir. Goodbye. The last of his duties is to die? Um, that's how I take that. <laughs> okay. So, um... Ba -ba 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 -ba. I think it's behind this painting. You can knock down all of these, and some of these have sculptulas behind them. So that one does. Yep. And then you do not want to wear your bunny hood when you're hopping around these bookcases because you will jump too far and you will definitely fall. So, shit, I'm probably going to fall at some point anyways because, you know, we're like that here. We're going to jump to this one. See, here's another, like, rafters one. Damn it. Come back. Baby, come back. You can blame it all on me. Come on. Back this way. There we go. Yay. Got our 12th one. Okay, so there's that one. Um. Hmm. I feel like I can't see. Okay, there's that one on top of the bookcase. Let's jump this way. Let's jump this way. You already almost miss it without the bunny hood, so with the extra jump of the bunny hood, it's like really difficult. Okay, so that one on top of the bookcase. Um, then there's another painting one. Is it this painting? No. I can hear you. I can hear you, little bug. Maybe it's this painting. This one looks a little weird behind it. Oh, it's a hole. Okay. So to get into that hole, we got to go back this way. And then we go this way. And then we can hit him. All right, we got the whole chilla. I like that name for them, Koneko. All right, so we're done with this room. We're done with the upstairs entirely. We can go downstairs now. You can tell there's still lots of chittering in here. So this one, I think we want to be about halfway. Oh, nope, I'm not far enough down. Let's go down a little bit more. There we go. You can see this one. Damn it. Maybe I gotta wait till he's here. At least too far or something. There we go. Okay, so there's that one. And if we come over here, is it this jar? Yeah. Got another one. Um, it's fire arrows. If I jump up there, he's going to attack me. I knew it. Okay, let's do, um, let's hookshot him. There we go. Didn't look like it hit him, but it totally did. Uh, oh, I have to fire arrows again. I didn't get all of the cobwebs.
All right, got 18. Is that where I'm supposed to be at? Mm -mm -mm. No, there's one more. There you are. Don't go back up, bitch. Come back here. Face me like the spider you are. What a thought. There we go. Okay, we've got 19 at this point. Yes, that is how many I'm supposed to have. I'm not missing one. Okay, there's some enemies in here. We got to kill them. So we'll do this. Anyone else? thought it was like two or three of those things, but I guess not. I guess it's just one. Okay, so this... This guy. <clears throat> There's some rolling into crates ones. But I can't remember which crate it is. This crate? Oh, here we go. I know there's one in here. Give me that heart. Oh. Oh, I can just use the hook shot. I don't need to switch arrows. <clears throat> Let me look at my notes for this room. Do, 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 do. Okay, there is one behind the canoes up here. Oh. <laughs> I don't need arrows. We can just hookshot him. Hookshot to the face! Okay, that's 22. Um, and the canoes roll into the brown crate. Okay, there's another one. I don't hear anything. Maybe, maybe the last one is the one that's up here. Okay, there's a really, there's a tricky one up here. I think this is how I get to him. Yeah, you can hear him now. So you come up here and then you can hook shot to this guy. And then he is in this pot? No, this pot. Yes, bitch. Don't hit me. Okay, now we got 23. Mm-hmm. Okay, there's one more in this room. Where are you? Oh. Roll properly, Link. Aha, there you are. Okay, now I've got 24. All right, so that's the correct number. So here's what we're going to do. We don't want to miss out on the 2 p.m. clock town rupees. So we are going to actually do a couple of other things before we do this. Is That's the final room right there of the Skullchilla house. Okay, so we're not going to quite finish this right this second, but we will finish it soon. But first, we are going to soar to clock town. Because if we all the way finish the spider house, then I think we won't quite make it. <clears throat> so we're come back to you, Spider House. All right. Oh, I am so slow. I need my bunny hood. B -b -b bunny hood. There we go. Okay, let's watch this cutscene. Actually, yeah, we have seen it before. But guess what? This cycle, we're going to do the trading quest again. Yeah, Link does the bunny hop. Ba -ba -ba bunny hop. Yes, I know, sir. I know. All right, we're going to come around over here. So it's 12. So with the bunny hood, we should be able to come up and do this, I think. We should have time. All right, what's my bomber's code? What's my bomber's code? 53241. 53241. 
Five, three, two, four, one. Oh yeah, he's a. Uh, he's also anti furry. Five, three, two, four, one. I know. Five, three, two, four, one. Is that right? That's right. Okay. It's so rude that so many people in Clocktown are against bunnies. Like, what's wrong with bunny boys? I don't understand. Like, why is this such a problem for people? They should let bunny boys be. Just let bunny boys be bunny boys. It's not hurting anybody. Like, you should still talk to me like normal when I'm bunnying. Yay, silver rupee! Okay, so since we are doing the trade quest this time, we are also going to go and talk to the observatory guy. So let's go. Whee! Pop you! Oop, that's not right. I pressed the wrong button. I pop you, balloon. Not with a bomb, but with an arrow. Okay. Up the rainbow stairs to the rainbow observatory. Hello, sir. Yes, I would love to gaze into the telescope. Again. We have done so many times, but each time useful. Yes, I discovered the same thing I've discovered every time, which is a moon's tear. And you can't have it for some reason. You don't want the moon's tear. I don't know why. You know, it's kind of funny that there's not something where you can give the moon's tear to the um, astronomer. I think that he would be interested in it. But he's not. All right, then we go back to Clock Town. And we're gonna trade with this guy. Hello, sir. Yes, you would like a gift for your wife. I would like to see your wife. We never see the wife. We don't know where she is. She's not like some Deku that lives in the um in the swamp or anything. I think it would be really cool if she was. But no, you cannot encounter her. Yay, we got the title deed. Fly away. All right, let's go deposit these rupees. Then we're going to get some more rupees and deposit those. The ruby collecting is about to become so much easier. So, so much easier. Yes, deposit. We are definitely going to have to do a stream of, like, just collecting money. It's going to have to be a thing where that's, like, just all we do for a particular cycle. I'm realizing that, like, there's no way I can get to the 5k um, in the amount of cycles it takes to beat the game. Like, I just, I just won't get that many rupees. <clears throat> all right. It's about to be one. See, is she 
Where is she? Not there yet. Okay, let's go get these rupees that's on the roof and then we'll come back and talk to Anju. This way. Whee! 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 Link's jumps in this game are the best. Whee! Especially since he can do a few different animations. Silva Rupee. Whee! All right, now Anju should almost be ready for us. <clears throat> we only have to wait a little bit. Sup, girl? I'm here to hang. You don't need no cafe. You got me. You got me with this Goron dump truck. This is way better than your purple hair boy. Don't you think? I think. Just say him. <clears throat> or as I spill water all over myself when I'm saying that. Playing Breath of the Wild just caught their first horse. <gasps> Yay! Stardust! Breath of the Wild's a great horse simulator. The great horse simulator. I've been trying to convince Kendra to come back to streaming and to stream Breath of the Wild for us. You know, since I can't really play that game too well because of the weapon degradation, you know, I'm a hater. But I would love to watch her do a playthrough. So I've been doing, uh, instituting just a, some, a little tiny bit of peer pressure to say, like, come play Breath of the Wild for us. Um, because Lucas has been doing pretty good on her lap during the Stardew streams and stuff. So I feel like it could, it could happen. That's what I tell her anyway. By the way, if you're not following Kendra, we'll do a little shout out for her. That way she sees some follows. I don't know. You're probably already following her, Koneko, but we'll do a... Let's see. Slash shout out. Yeah. Shout out. Drow feels. There. Well, she'll see the shout out anyway. All right. What's up? What's up, Anju? Welcome to the Stockpot Inn. Oh, yeah. Wait, we've seen this before. We don't need to read her stuff. Yeah, everybody should follow Kendra. <clears throat> we got our room key. Yes. We will relax. But guess what? We lied. We're not a Goron. Our name is Link, though. But we're not a Goron named Link. You weren't. <gasps> we'll go follow her so she sees that. And uh, then maybe maybe she'll come back to streaming. Increase the peer pressure. All right. Silver Rupee. Oh, my gosh. Link, aim. There we go. Yay! Okay, let's go deposit these. Let's go deposit. And we've got some other fun stuff to do. <clears throat> we have to make it back to the spider house and finish it before the end of the first night. We'll definitely do that. But we're going to do a couple other things first. So here we go. Yes, I do need something. I need to deposit these rupees because my wallet is full. My wallet is full and happy and I need you to make it unhappy because that's its natural state. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> okay, so now what we're going to do we're going to sort of the swamp. Do some swamp things. Swamp thing. Okay, you guys know every time we come to the swamp, we have to take a pretty, pretty picture of Mr. Tingle. He loves it when you take his picture. It's the best. Oh, we need the pictograph too. Put you here. Okay, let's shoot him. Shoot him down. Oh, shh. 
What the heck? There we go. He falled. Alright, so let's get in his face and let's take a picture. And we hope this works because for whatever reason, my emulator really does not like doing the pictograph bro box properly. All right, Dad. Um, I'm taking pictures of your son. Uh, because I'm like that. And you should be embarrassed, actually. And pay me. This is blackmail. It's exactly what you think it is. Yep, it worked. It's his son. All right, a hundred more rupees. No, I will never ask him to not live his dream. You just don't understand him. You should respect his wishes more. I know they're weird, but you know what? There's something weird about all of us. All right, we don't want any magic beans. Instead, we would like to give you this title deed. Yes. There you go. We got it. The swamp title deed. I wish there was a quicker cutscene of them flying away. It's a little bit long. Okay. We're going to do now the next step. So the next step is in Snowhead. Do I want to go? Yeah, I want to go to the mountain village. <clears throat> okay, we've got two little things to do here. The first one is to go run over to the Goron village and do the Deku trade. The fact that there is not an owl in the Goron village is just a travesty. This should not be allowed. It should be illegal. Uh, Gabora Gabora hates us and does not want us actually going back and visiting the Gorons after we're done with them. He's um, really mean for that. You know, I don't know why he feels that way, but clearly he does. Uh, pretty fucking rude, you know. Yes, you can't catch me because you have rubber band physics. All right, so we're going to come down here. We and I think we have to talk to him as a Deku to do the trade. Let's see. So transform right in front of him. He won't think that's weird. Yes, you meet a fellow Deku. And you'd like to go home. I understand. Look what I got for you, sir. Yes, the swamp title deed. Fuck yeah. Everybody's happy. And then we must once again make it spring in the mountains. For the third time, hopefully the last time. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Take this off. It's a nice. That's a nice shot of Link right there. That's the angle we all want to see all the time. Uh, okay, let's go to Snowhead, yes. Whee! All right, we need to be Goron Link. And we're gonna need to play the song. A right, left, A right, left, okay. We wake him up once again. The giant Goron. Wake up. 
It's not sleepy time anymore. Doo 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 doo. And let's go kill him again. We need it to be spring once more. I suppose you could get into a situation where you only have to kill him like one extra time. You could probably time it like that, but I don't. There's definitely still something that we have not done for springtime. <laughs> Luckily, this is the boss that I think is the most fun and entertaining of all the bosses that you fight at the end of the temples. So I don't mind beating him up multiple times. It's not too bad. When I think about it, I don't know. In a, in a lot of ways, this second temple is my favorite temple. It's definitely got my favorite final boss. And I do like the gimmick of it where it's kind of like all about the verticality. Like, I think that's pretty cool. <clears throat> Okay, let's take this off. Take it off. Cause I get what I want and I want what I see. I want you. Hello. Goat, you're the goat. We're gonna make it spring again. We're rolling, 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 rolling. We rolling, 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 rolling. We rolling, 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 rolling. Sweep the leg. Sweep the leg. Sweep the leg. Bitch. Don't zap me. Hey, how the heck and heck did you hit me? Your lightning went around the corner? That's dumb. Come back here. I want to give you a pedicure. Give you a hoof a cure. Them hooves, they look rough. They need some sanding. Just let me add them. I'll make them look pretty. Pretty for the girlies. You look nice for the girl goats. Yeah, they need a trim. I mean, you don't want to just let your hooves grow out, do you? That's how they get infections and shit. And that's gross. Nobody wants to see that. Ugh. Excuse you. You do not understand the value in proper beauty routine. It's not just for looks, it's for hygiene and safety too. This is a mechanical beast, do those hooves even grow Koneko? Maybe they don't, okay. But anyways, let's pretend that they do. Because goat needs a hoof trim. No! I sailed right into it. Okay. Go, go, go. Come on. We can't be that far. Bitch! Stop zapping me. He's ice for a while, so maybe he rusted and needs some polishing. It was a snipe. That was a bitch snipe. Yeah, I mean, it at least needs polishing, right? Even if he was frozen and so they haven't grown, or like because he's mechanical or whatever, we at least, at least need to buff him out just to make sure, you know? Oh. Damn it, I messed that up. I could have got some good hits on him, but I wasn't spiky no more because I let go of the stupid button. I should have tried to roll back around instead. But he's throwing bombs now, so he's almost dead. 
Come on, goat. Whee! There we go. Oh, he only needed one more tiny hit. <clears throat> Boom! Poor goat. He now has the biggest headache um, in all of uh, Termina. Springtime for Gorons in the mountains. Okay, so now we get to talk to this Mr. Frog. I have been waiting for you, Don Garo. Forgive me if I am mistaken, but it looks like you've lost a little weight. As you can see, Don Garo, the long winter has ended and spring has finally come to these mountains. Let us begin our chorus. Unfortunately, it seems not all of our members have gathered. Perhaps it is because winter was too long. They must not have realized that spring has come to the mountains. And when the great Don Garil has come for us too, what a pity. Where in the world could the other members be and what could they be doing? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. Okay, so now we need to soar back to Great Bay. <clears throat> All right, we're here. Let's put our Zora mask on so we can swim, swim. And we're gonna finish up the spider house. Them spiders won't know what the fuck hit them. Dolphin jump, dolphin jump, dolphin jump, dolphin jump. Fuck yeah, I'm beautiful. All right, there's one last room. Hey, Epona, what's up? There's one last room in the spider house that we got to do. Slide, slide, slippity slide. Slide, slide, slippity slide. Thank you for the lurk, Koneko. We love our lurkers here. All right, now we hook shot over the wall. Whee! All right, we got to come down here and do the last room. That's this one. <clears throat> All right, there's a lot more of these guys in here, but before we talk to them, we're going to get the spiders in this room. So the first set of spiders is pretty simple. You just don your Goron's mask, you jump up here, you curl, you pound, boom. These guys are not phased somehow, some way, but we get three spiders. Boom, boom, yay. Then we get this one, bitch. There we go. Okay. Um, and then some of these are like you roll into these jars. Okay, yeah, there's one. And then one of them is behind one of the paintings. I want to say... I want to say it's like right next to the jar. I want to say it's this painting. I might be wrong. No. Okay. Let's hookshot your bitch ass. Okay, 29. Um... Next one is up here, I think. Which wall are you on? Which wall are you on? Aha, it's on that wall. If I stand right here and hit him when he's there, I'll get him, I think. Nope. Oh, come on. Maybe I'm supposed to... 
and on the table. Yeah, this feels more right. Yay, I did it! So we got all of the Sculptulas, but before we leave here, there's one other thing we have to do. First, we need to talk to these guys. Huh? Ah, Captain Sir! It's been a long time since we've seen you. As you have ordered, sir, we are investigating the secrets of this place. According to the information I have obtained, it seems Red should be shot second. Have I fulfilled my duty, sir? Yes, you have, sir. Ah, thank you, sir. I hope the information I have provided will be of assistance to you, sir. Uh, now, as you ordered, sir, I will finish the last of my duties. Yes, sir! Okay, thank you. Arrows, that's the last of your duties. Cool. All right, you, let's talk to you. Huh? Ah, Captain Sir, it's been a long time since we've seen you. As you have ordered, sir, we are investigating the secrets of this place. According to the information I have obtained, it seems Blue should be shot forth. Have I fulfilled my duties? Yes. Ah, uh, thank you, sir. I hope the information I have provided will be of assistance to you, sir. Now, as you ordered, sir, I will finish the last of my duties. Yes, sir. Okay, so red is two and blue is four. Okay, so let's see what, we need three and we need five. Huh? Ah, Captain Sir, it's been a long time since we've seen you. As you have ordered, sir, we are investigating the secrets of this place. According to the information I have obtained, it seems green should be shot third. Have I fulfilled my duty, sir? Yes. Ah, thank you, sir. I hope the information I provided will be of assistance to you, sir. Now, as you ordered, sir, I will finish the last of my duties. Yes, sir. Okay. Ooh, a heart. Thank you. You're the best soldier. Giving me a heart. Huh? Ah, Captain Sir, it's been a long time since we've seen you. As you have ordered, sir, we are investigating the secrets of this place. According to the information I have obtained, it seems red should be shot fifth. Have I fulfilled my duty, sir? Yes. Okay. Ah, thank you, sir. I hope the information I provided will be of assistance to you, sir. Now, as you ordered, sir, I will finish the last of my duties. Yes, sir. Okay, these uh, guys apparently don't know what collaboration is because not a single one of them knew the whole solution, but they all knew one part of it. So they have never, they've never heard of like talk and shop, you know, collaborating at work, any of that. So, but now we know the answer to the puzzle. So let's shoot them. So we have yellow. Okay, and then we do red. And then it's green. And then blue. And then red. And then green. <gasps> Hell yeah, we're doing 100%. That's right. How are you doing today? The other type of styrofoam? What is the other type of styrofoam? I thought there was only one type. Okay, now this bitch hanging here, chilling. We're going to shoot his ass. Okay, and then we're gonna open the chest. What do we get, what do we get, what do we get, what do we get? What do we get, what do we get? We got a piece of heart! Yes, okay, we got the piece of heart. Fuck yeah, whatever you believe it to be. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad, I'm so glad. I hope you're having an amazing, awesome weekend. Um, I am, we're having a beautiful, lovely Sunday here. I'm a variety streamer, by the way. We do this particular game, our 100% of Majora's Mask, almost every Sunday um, between noon and 2 Eastern time. So if you like that, you can catch the Majora's Mask in those time slots. But I'm a variety streamer. I do a lot of things. Um, the main game I play is actually Sims 2. But uh, I love games with good stories or games you can make good stories in. So that's what I'm always doing is in games with good stories. Like we did 100% playthrough also of, oh yeah, I got a Goron mask this. I did 100% playthrough also of Final Fantasy X um, because that game has the best story. Makes me cry like three times. Uh, yes, yes, actually. Um, I do it in the Sims 4 category because that category is more hopping, but um, Sims 2 is objectively the best Sims. Okay, so now this man is here. So this is why you have to do it on the first day or first night, because this man will not be here any other time. I thought I heard some loud noises inside and I came to check it out. This place, is this some sort of underground shelter? Did you find this place? 
I, I beg you, please let me have this place. Not for free, of course. I hope this will do. Yes, it will do, sir. I would. I, I'm so happy to have the giant wallet. I am just glad it was something you needed. Anyhow, I won't be needing it much longer anyway. Okay, that's very mysterious. So he's only here on the first day or the first night. If you try to do the spider house on the other days, he will not show up. This is something that they changed in the later, um, in the, the remake version. But in the N64 version, you have to do it on the first day or first night. Okay, so we're gonna Zora because now we have the big wallet. Leave me alone. Now we have the big wallet, so we need to go get the other 100 rupee spot that we discovered uh, last cycle. So we discovered that one, and so we gotta go get it. So we can be full up on rupees. He'll be in the corner skulking on the other days. Yeah, yeah, and he won't give you the wallet, like, he's just not, he's just not receptive. But um, in the 3DS one, they changed it, so in the remake, he will still give you the wallet on the other days. Yeah. I mean, he's sad. He's sad like everyone else in uh, in Termina. Boom. Moo, bitch, get out the way. Get out the way, bitch, get out the way. Okay, so we're gonna take off our Zora mask. We're gonna do the stone mask. Sup, lettuce? Whee! Can I get on this one? Nope, she's too fast. We'll hop the next one. Hey, girl! What's up? I'm on a boat. Yeah! Did you play Sims 2 on Game Boy by chance? No, I did not ever play the Game Boy version. Um, the spin-offs? I had one of the spin-offs. I want to say it was like for PlayStation or something. I can't remember. But um, I, I never really got super into the spin-off games. I just played The Sims 2, like, straight up. Now, I have since watched people play those spin-offs, like, um, on YouTube and stuff. And, uh, oh my god, they're hilarious. <laughs> like, I can't. <laughs> I can't. Um, but yeah, we are Sims 4 haters in this household, okay? We, uh, we, do, not, we do not tolerate The Sims 4. Um, it's just, you know... It's not for me. I'm not like ragging on anybody who likes it. It's just that I have taste and The Sims 2 is where it's at. So yeah, we do, we're doing Pleasant View Rotational. That's The Sims 2 that we do on Sundays. And then on Saturdays, we are playing our legacy. So for our Sims 2 section of the stream, that's the two things that we're doing right now. Okay, so we need to hook shot up. It's on the north side, right? I think the chest is up here. Is it this one or is it the one right up? The one that's one more up. It's not this one. It's the next one. Yeah, I think it's this guy up here. Think. We. Did I remember this right? I didn't put it in my notes. I just put make sure there. Yeah, this is right. Okay. I just put to make sure to go get the hundred rupees from the Gerudo ladies. <gasps> Got a silver rupee. Okay. And then the fastest way to exit is to just get our ass kicked out. Yes, I was here the whole time. I um, I know I just appeared in front of you like that, but I was actually here the whole fucking time. Okay, and then we can get kicked out again. What's up, ladies? Yeah. I know, I'm too sexy to hang out with you. I get it. I totally get it. Okay. So, let's see, where do we want to go next? Oh yeah, okay, actually we could have just, we could have just ocarina <laughs> because we need to go do the Deku trade. Right here. Mention Final Fantasy, is there any other F, F games you like? Yeah, so um, as a kid, I played six and seven, uh, and I have dabbled in most of the Final Fantasies, especially all the ones post six. 
but I haven't, there's a lot of them that I haven't beat. Like the reason why we played 10 first is because that is the one that I have beaten like uh, multiple times, you know? Okay, so we gotta be Macau for this. And we're gonna go in here. And we gotta go into Lulu's room. We found this last cycle, you guys remember? But we did not have the title deed from the mountains during that cycle. So we were not able to do the trade. Yeah, I know you're busy. You're busy being a creepazoid. Get the fuck out. Leave her alone. Okay, so we can come over here and we can talk to this guy. Thanks for stopping by. I'm doing business with a focus on Zoras. That makes you a potential customer. Is this your room? I'm awfully sensitive to the sea breeze, so I'm sorry, but I'd like you to rent this room to me. But my, this is a messy room. Did something happen in here? Well, I really can't do anything about it. I'll sell you a green potion for 40 rupees. Okay, no. Okay, I guess, do we have to, maybe we have to talk to him as a Deku. I can't remember for the trading quest. Let's try Deku. We need that heart piece. Okay, it's me again, a totally different person. Um, we didn't just speak. Thanks for stopping by. I'm doing business with a focus on Zoras. Sorry, but if you're not a Zora, I can't do business with you. It's a regulation of the Business Scrub Association. There's nothing I can do. Okay, so it's not Deku. Final Fantasy VIII? Hello, Weasel. How's it going? It's been a second since I've seen you. I actually was not super into eight. Um, I did have a friend that eight was like her favorite game and she thought it was the best. So I don't know. I was an obstinate, stupid teenager and I decided I didn't like eight. I didn't, I didn't really, I just was not that into the draw system is the reality, but I pretended like I really didn't like it. That's not really true. Maybe someday I'll play it on stream. I don't know. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, you're from the mountains. I'm selling green potions, but I'm focusing my marketing efforts on Zora's. Actually, I'd like to do business someplace where it's cooler and the air is clean. But to open up business in another place, you need to go through the proper channels first. Do you know what I mean? Okay, yeah, it's you talk to him as a Goron. <coughs> Here we go. Oh, that's the mountain title deed. Thank you. I'll give you this land in exchange. Fuck yeah, we got the ocean title deed. What Final Fantasies do you like, Styrofoam? I'm off to the resort. The mountains are calling me. <clears throat> now we watch him fly away. Fuck yeah. <coughs> Nine my Deku mask. Okay, let's switch to Deku. And we fly up. Whee! Yay, you got a piece of heart. Fuck yeah. Okay, let's take off this nonsense. All right, so we got that piece of heart. Now we need to go and save the old lady again. So we did that a long time ago. That was like during the second cycle, we saved the old lady. Well, now that we have the giant wallet, we need to go save her again. So let's go back to Clock Town and save her. <clears throat> okay, the only one I've really gotten into playing is Seven, but I love that game. Seven's a great one. Seven's a great one. I have very, very fond memories of playing it as a kid. <clears throat> So the first thing that we're going to do is go deposit our rupees. Yeah, let's go deposit rupees. We don't need to be carrying these around right now. <clears throat> All right, we've got 201. <coughs> All right, we're like halfway. We're halfway to the 5k, you guys. Have we returned the mask to Majora yet? Key, that's not how you play this game. That's not how you play this game. It's the opposite. We're trying to get the mask from Majora. 
<clears throat> Welcome back, Koneko. I'm most interested in playing... Uh, that would be nine next, though, but eight has always been one that interests me the most. Nine, I totally skipped. Just the time that it came out, um, I was just busy. And I just, I ended up totally skipping nine. So I've never played it. But I've seen some um, piece parts of playthroughs on Twitch. And oh my god, it looks so good. Someday I'm going to play that. Have we stolen the Master Majora and sold it on eBay yet? What the fuck, Key? Not yet, but that's a great idea. Um, I will make sure to list it as soon as I get it. You know, I've got all these other masks, though. Like, what do you think these would be worth? Like, here, I'll show you. Like, look at all these masks I got. What do you think all these would be worth? Like, I think somebody might really like this, um, this mask of sense, especially. Uh, someone could get some real interesting use out of the pig mask. You know what I'm saying? Here's that bitch sack on. We're gonna get your ass. We're gonna get your ass with the gold sword this time, little bitch. Yeah, I skipped nine. Just the timing, you know, I skipped it. Um, so. <clears throat> so, yeah. The pig mask is a collectible. Oh my god. I, I knew it. I knew it. We're gonna list it after stream today, okay? And you better help me promote it, Key. So we can get some good bids. You love the. I also love the pig mask. Sure. <laughs> the pig mask that makes you do the animation where you like just sniffing everything. So silly. She's gonna be by any minute. Sack on. I'll retweet the eBay link endlessly. Thank you. I appreciate it. Always looking out. I love that. You're the OG key. Love you. Big ol' sniff. Is this? That's what I'm thinking, right? I'm thinking like, you know, because I hate it so much. There must be somebody out there that's like, that mask is the fucking shit. How could you possibly hate it, you loser? I was going to say the furries would love the pig mask, but considering how sweaty... Yeah, I always imagine, okay, so like when I used to go to Dragon Con, right, it's over like Labor Day. So it's like end of August, beginning of September in Hotlanta, okay? And people would have like these full ass costumes on, right? Like um the full stormtrooper garb, like fur suits, like all kinds of craziness, big ass wigs. And I'm just like, how are you people not dead? How are you people not dead in the heat? I don't know. I don't know. I think they never went outside. I think they would just go to the one hotel and like circle the lobby area of whatever one hotel was their favorite to get their pictures taken at. And um, and that's it. They wouldn't like they wouldn't like venture out from that, you know, because there's no way like if you stepped outside, you would just die. You would just like keel over, you know, it was so hot, so hot, like truly the, our strongest soldiers in this world are cosplayers that are willing to wear those like big ass fursuits or, you know, similarly like full coverage costumes. Troopers, truly. I go to Fantasy Fair Fest, a small local con. I know the feel, yeah. Last time I went as Elfia and there were people walking around in full fursuits in 25 degrees Celsius weather. I don't know how hot 25 degrees Celsius is, Koneko, but I'm gonna assume that's like 100 degrees Fahrenheit. <clears throat> Me internally asking that of stage reformers all the time, right? How do they do it? Mysteries. Such mysteries. Do you guys think I can get 500 rupees before Sakon attacks the lady? I don't want to, like, leave and miss it, you know? So I just, I'm just going to farm rupees. How many do you guys do you think I'll get before it's midnight? I've got time slowed, by the way. Bet you get a thousand. Dream big, aim high. Thanks, Key. We're gonna go for it. Twenty-five Celsius is seventy-seven Fahrenheit, but hot, but not very warm. It's not hot, but very warm for another. Yeah, seventy-seven is not that hot. Like, I don't know. You maybe you should look at in Celsius, but like, Hotlanta around that time of year is like literally like in the nineties. Like, it would not be unusual to have a hundred degree day. It's irrelevant if it isn't 69. <laughs> well, we're already past 69. So maybe we can go for 420. Whee! 
you know, the Deku mask is kind of like not so useful later on in the game, like where we are. But the spinning spinning is like still so fun. I love to just spin. Here, we'll do a poll. We'll do a poll. Let's see. Poll. Yes. Um, will I get 420 rupees before the old woman is attacked? Um, yes. No. <clears throat> We're going to do for a minute because it's already 10. So it's only going to be a few more minutes. I think anyway. <clears throat> I can't remember how long an hour is when time is slowed. I know some furries put cooling pads in their suit padding. Oh, that's smart. That's why they're in IT. Um, if they're suited for summer weather, they tend to have pockets so the padding can be removed when the suit needs to be cleaned, which is pretty neat. Yeah, that is really neat. That's why they have all them high paying government jobs, because they're smarty pants. <laughs> yeah, let's try to get 420 rupees before midnight. <clears throat> Yell no. <laughs> Thank you so much for the lurk. We love our lurkers here, Key. We can hope for 169? Okay. No, everyone says no. <laughs> What, y'all don't think I can bend the laws of time and space to, like, get that many from this tiny patch of butches by midnight? Thanks. My husband thinks I can do it. Why aren't you guys more like him? What's wrong with you? I can't do it. It's not possible. Don't tell him, though. It's nice when he's, like, really into it like that. Okay. 10 p.m. We only gotta wait till midnight. It's only a little bit longer. Spin, spin, spin. You know what also is very satisfying in Zelda games? The rupee noise. Bring, bring, bring. Rupee noise. So good. Your husband's a G. That's right. That's right. He cooked his prime rib yesterday. Oh my god, we had prime rib and mashed potatoes and Brussels sprouts. Oh my god, it was so good. It was so good. There was like a little bit left over and I had some for breakfast this morning. Oh my god. And I just like had it, he cut it all up, right? For the leftover anyway, I cut it all up. So I put it in a bowl and I poured like the au jus over it. Well, no, I mixed some horseradish in with the au jus and then I just poured it all over it. And oh my god, it was so fucking good. So good. And then, um, yeah, I love horseradish. Oh my god. Radish is the best. Clear your sinuses. Like, yes. Alright, it's 11. We only have one more hour. One more. Wee! Wee! I didn't even expect um, him to hear me today because... Uh, he's been watching S X XFL lately. Any of you football peoples uh, watch that? Apparently it's very entertaining. And uh, he's been watching that So when it started at noon today. So very early game start times for today. Inning. All right, Sakon, I am I'm waiting for you. I know what you're going to do. You think you're slick. You think you're slick hiding back there, no one paying attention to you, even though there's literally a cop right there, and you don't do nothing, just like real life. Bitch. Just like real life. Extra, extra large, EA big. <laughs> Yeah, I don't actually, I don't know what it stands for. I, I guess in my brain, I was just calling it because, you know, it's like National Football League, NFL, right? 
So my brain, I was just calling it extra football league XFL, but I don't, that can't be right. That can't be right. It can't just, they can't have called themselves extra football league, but maybe, I don't know. (laughs) It's probably like extreme football league or something like that. I don't know. But in my head, I was calling it the extra football league because it's like extra football in between your real football. So you have football all year. It's almost midnight, you guys. Almost time. Almost time. Okay. We only need one more rupee to hit 169. Um, There we go. For you. I stopped for you. Because I love you guys. All right. Sekon, you bitch. Hi. I'm not doing anything suspicious, really. You are a liar. We're going to go assume the position. I'm ready for you. Boom. Wap, 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 wap. Taste it. Yeah. It's true. <clears throat> so satisfying. All right, where's the lady? She coming along any second. There she is. There's the lady. Don't worry, I'm going to save you this cycle. You're not going to be doomed this time. Yeah. You show off that sword, Link. You earned it. Mm. Speaking of Final Fantasy, next week, instead of my normal Saturday-Sunday streams, we're going to be doing our Thank You for 400 Followers, which is going to be a week-long stream starting next Thursday, ending on the Wednesday. We're going to attempt to 100% Final Fantasy X-2. I might have given myself an impossible task. I don't know, because I've never beaten that game before, but we're going to see... If we can beat it within a week. And we're going to do some really fun stuff. We're going to do some really fun stuff during that stream. So if you guys like 10 too, you should definitely come back. Check back starting on Thursday. Um, anytime, pretty much. Anytime that I am like awake and feel like streaming, I'm going to be live playing that game. Okay, Sakon. Slow motion. Slow motion, get it. Okay. You know what? I'm going to stop him. Boom. Yeah, bitch. And now he becomes immune to swords for some reason. Come on, Sekon. This is not right. Get the fuck out. And just nobody does anything. The guard just stands there, lets him run. Does he have a sword? Sir, does he have a sword? No, Sekon does not have a sword. <sighs> he does not have a sword. All right, so we had to save the old lady this time around. That's going to become important when we get to day three. So now what we're going to do is we are going to go to the latte milk bar. And we're going to do some fun stuff there. You knew you could blow him up, right? I can blow up Sakan. I've never tried to do that. But you can bomb him? Make him drop the bag that way? Oh, wait. I need to go. Not this way. I need to go over here. All right, guys, let's go get milk drunk. I hope none of you are lactose intolerant because we're going to be doing shot, shot, shots of some milk. Aw, i sorry, sir. This is where he is when you take his room. The wind has gotten damp, Goro. Tomorrow is rain, Goro. Yeah, sorry. I needed those rupees. You should try it one time. Okay, I can't remember if there's another time where I need to do that. I can't remember because I want to say that for Anju and Cafe, you have to explicitly not save the old lady. And we still do need to do that. Oh, please show proof of membership. Okay, here we go. Ah, uh, you are a member. Please come in. So I think in that, um, in that cycle, we have to let him go. But I might do it for fun at some point. Okay, so let's talk to our friend here. Remember him? He was very sad. We've met him many cycles ago. He was very sad that the concert and all the stuff is going to be canceled because of the moon falling. Madame Maruma told him that, um, you know, because the Indiegogos, right? Lulu has no voice, like all this stuff. Like, it's just, it's not going to happen, friend. Remember this? So he's really sad. He's really sad. He's having some, um, some milk and sushi. 
A U milk. It's milk. Can you get tipsy from something like milk? <laughs> okay. What do you got to say, sir? We were scheduled to do a show, but it got cancelled. This place has a reputation for being a great live venue, so it's a shame. I'd like to do a sound check, though. I just want to see what it would be like if... Hey, you, could you help me with the performance? Why, yes, I can, sir. Okay, you play the ocarina, right? Go stand under the center spotlight. Okay. Okay, play your ocarina like this. Okay, so up. Ooh, very pretty. Okay, that feels good. What well, feels good? That wretched, senseless racket. Okay, so now. Uh, oh, we already have the Deku one here, so let's do the Deku next. Don't spin, speak. Could you help me with the performance? Yes. Okay, you play the pipes, right? Go stand under the front left spotlight. Okay, now play your pipes like this. Jane, hey, how's it going, friend? Girl, I redid all the sound alerts. Oh, you found it. <laughs> I'm in the process of fixing them. They're not exactly how I want them yet, but I redid all of them so that you, you're not gonna have to pay bits anymore for them. It's not in that, that extra sound alert menu because like, as you know, sound alerts will randomly fucking break. So I'm getting rid of it. I'm doing it a different way. So um, that's why they're all different. I'm gonna finish setting them up before the next time we stream. <clears throat> Yeah, so he says that every time. He says that every time because he's a little bitch that hates music. All right. If he hates music, let's give him some drums. No, don't curl. Talk to him. There we go. So we're going to help him with the performance again. Okay, you play the drums, right? Go stand under the left, the rear left spotlight. Okay, play your drums like this. I think that part is so funny too, Koneko. Why does our why our drummer is giant and yet he gets the tiniest spotlight? Okay, I'm actually gonna turn up the game audio for this section so that you guys can hear the finale really nice and good. Um, because this is a nice little song here. So I know the game probably sounds pretty loud right at the moment. I'll turn it back down after we're done with this little quest. <clears throat> okay, last but not least, our lead guitar. Jane, I hope you're having an absolutely lovely Sunday. What are you doing today? Yep, so guitar goes over here in the pink spotlight, which is totally fitting, actually. But the Deku and the Goron should probably be swapped. Okay, play your guitar like this. That was the best! <gasps> that melody... That melody, it brings back so many memories. It's the... It's their old standby, Ballad of the Windfish. Yeah, so this is, this is the Ballad of the Windfish from that, uh, that game, which is another really popular Zelda game um, from Link's Awakening. That's the song that members of the previous generation of the Indigos Go -Go's made famous. I enter a show business because I heard this song at the Carnival of Time long ago. By doing performances, I thought maybe I'd get to meet the singers of that song. 
the one you heard singing must have been the original Lulu, mother of the current lead singer who's also named Lulu. So her daughter is singing now. Is that so? I'd like to hear that. I'm sorry I booed you. Please take my mask. All right, and this is how you get the circus leader's mask. Um, you can use this to get an extra bottle in the um, the remake version, the 3DS version, but uh, that doesn't work in the N64 version. But that's what you get from doing that. Okay. So those were all the thingies that we wanted to do inside of Clock Town. So we're gonna go back out to Termina Field. Actually, let's go, let's go this, oh wait, I'm so slow. There we go. Now all is right in the world. All right, so let's start from the south and we are gonna go do the Gossip Stone quest again to get that 100 rupees. So, trying to remember, this hole is over here, I think. Is this the Gossip Stone hole? I wonder if I have the memorized now finally. Yes, I remembered this one. Okay. We're gonna do we're gonna start back from where we were before. Um, we're gonna do Deku one again. We've not done the Deku one in a long time. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh, stop going past it. So the Deku song is upright, upright, a no, up left, up left, A left, A right, A. Oh, nope, put it back on. Put it back on. There we go. For Tears of the Kingdom Styrofoam. So I have to tell you something. I'm sorry. I'm a Breath of the Wild hater. Yeah, I'm one of those people that bitched hardcore about the weapon breaking and how it's not like a Zelda. Where's the real dungeons? Meh, 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 meh. Yeah, that's me. I'm annoying as fuck. Okay, um, so <laughs> meh, I don't know. I mean, it, it looks cool, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, we'll see. I am, though, currently trying to peer pressure my friend into starting streaming again um, so that we can watch her play Tears of the Kingdom um, or Breath of the Wild or whatever, right? Because she absolutely fucking loves it. I'm holding out for first week release reviews. Yeah, I think that's that's what I'm doing too, Kendra. Yeah, okay. So, um so Styrofoam, if this if that's what you're into, you should absolutely drop my friend um Drowfields uh, a follow. Jane, can you um do slash shout out and then put in Drowfields for Kendra? Um follow her. I'm trying to peer pressure her into starting to stream again. And um if she sees some follows, then that might be like even more peer pressure. I think it's starting to work. Right. So I feel I feel shameless. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Go follow this girl. OK, she's awesome. And she loves Zelda, like love, loves and is a Breath of the Wild stan, like loves it. So I'm sure she's going to play Tears of the Kingdom. Um, very, very sure. OK, get my ocarina out. <clears throat> She's going to log into Twitch for the first time in so long, like, and actually check, like, her streamer stuff and be like, why have I got new follows? And I'm just going to be like, ha, 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 I love you. <laughs> She's going to know it was me. She's going to know. But it's okay. <laughs> so, yeah, everybody give, uh, give Drawfields a follow. She's fucking amazing. Okay, so there's that one. <clears throat> I'm doing good so far remembering where the holes are. I haven't gone to the wrong hole yet. So, that's good. Alright, three, four. 
Ugh, bless me. Uh, that one came out stifled unintentionally. Oof. All right. One more. See that? Wee. All right, last hole I'm think is this one over by the observatory. Pretty sure this is a gossip stone one. Yes. Okay. Yep. Got them all right. Good job. Good memory, Karen. Sonata of Awakening. Yay! Silver Rupee! Alright. Oh. That was backwards. So we're going to sort a clock town, and we're going to go deposit our rupees before we do the next thing. But I do not want to have a full wallet at the moment. Drow feels D R O W F E E L S. They haven't streamed in a long time. Um, she was too pregnant to stream for a while, but she's had the baby for a few months now, so she's considering streaming, starting to stream again. Thank you, Jane. With our efforts combined, we can peer pressure. All right, let's deposit our rupees. Yes, we're really gonna give you that much. Oh, we almost got the 3K, we almost got to 3K. Okay, so next. You guys, it's time. It's time to start the next temple. Oh shoot, there was something else I meant to do in Clock Town. I just remembered. No, we're not playing that song yet. I meant to go, I meant to do something in Clock Town. Hang on. <laughs> Hold please. I almost forgot very important thing for this temple. <laughs> I did, I did. I remember before we started the temple. Amazing. I love that styrofoam. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's nighttime though, so it's not going to be open, is it? Can I still get in here? I can still get in here. Oh yeah, it's just a different dude. Oh wait, I need rupees. Mm, I need rupees. Uh, let's withdraw some rupees. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Oh my gosh, hello Lunar! Welcome, welcome. Tell me once you get out the car and get settled. We still have some time before I want to take my break, so we're good. <clears throat> hey! Thank you so much for the howl. Thank you. Um, Lunar, I redid all of my sound alerts. I'll explain to you better once you're more once you're more settled. We'll explain maybe when we talk about Sims. Um, I'm tired of sound alerts breaking, so we're getting rid of it. 
You didn't hear it? You didn't hear it? Hmm. Did you hear the other sound when you did the nya? Oh. Well, maybe don't don't do them yet, guys. <laughs> maybe don't do them yet. Um cuz I'm not sure why they're not working. And I don't yeah. So don't don't do them yet. I'm in the middle of like fixing them. So, yeah, don't do any sounds right now, I guess. I'm so sorry. I guess it's just coming through my headphones. It's not coming through the through OBS for some reason. <laughs> well, they're not broken. I just literally didn't finish setting them up. I don't know why I thought they would work. They don't. Hang on. Actually, I want to try something. I have an idea that I might be able to just do really quick and see if they work. Mm-hmm. Well, that didn't play at all, period. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't finish. I did literally didn't finish setting them up. So who knows? Try one more time. Yeah, yeah no. Oh, I heard it. Did you guys hear that one? <laughs> Tell me if y'all heard it now. I might have. I might have just fixed it. I'm not sure. Yes. Okay. That's all I had to do. You heard the nya? Okay. Sweet. Okay. Sweet. Okay. So that's all it was. Yeah, I was I decided I wanted to do all this this morning, <laughs> like literally this morning. And I was like, I can finish it all before and test it and everything before it's time to go live. No, no, I could not actually. Why do you have so many potions? Because I don't know if I can beat Georg without them. The fish is a bitch. Because the fish is a bitch. And I'm scared of him. <laughs> That's why. Okay. Let's take off the bunny hood. Yeah, I'm probably like being a little bit dramatic. Okay. Like maybe a touch bit dramatic. But I hate that fish. And I'm scared of him. Okay. Left up, left, right. Ugh, and I'm bad at this song too. Oh, wait, I did put it in my notes. I did put it in my notes. Okay. There we go. I maybe I maybe don't need all these potions. You should opt for a fairy though, at least. Yeah, I'll try to keep a fairy. I'm really bad at accidentally pressing the wrong C button and using my fairy using my favorite because I do I do it with this like this guy is my C button so I'll like do it to the wrong side I don't normally do the fairies oh what's happening Big wave. Mm. <gasps> I slept quite well. I just realized this when I opened my eyes. The passing of days is quite quick, isn't it, Lulu? Yes. Oh, this is still the turtle. Yeah, Lulu, it's nothing to be surprised at all. Although my eyes were closed in sleep, I can still see everything that occurs in the ocean. 
Mmm, it seems Lulu is confused. Regrettably, there is no time for idle conversation. Now then, proud Zora warrior. The open seas of Great Bay have need of your might. Quickly climb onto my back. <laughs> okay. So the way we climb onto his back is with the hook shot. Which I can't even use as the Zora. So <laughs> I don't know how he thought this was going to work out, you know, without Link. Uh, Cause if Macau was going to do this, apparently Macau can't use the hook shot. All right, let's go. Bye Lulu. We're going to go save the day. Ooh, they're going to try, too. <laughs> oh, probably Koneko. That's probably what these guys thought that they were going to do, too. But no. They just get swept up in the cloud. Bye, pirate ladies. Only I can go through. Ooh, Great Bay Temple. What's up, Mr. Turtle? Okay, so in this very first room, there is already a stray fairy we can get. And here's how we get it. We use fire arrows. So we're gonna try to fire arrow all four of these before they go out. Yeah, did it. All right. Something to know about this temple. Everybody hates it. It's not as bad, okay, as, as everyone's hate. Although it is pretty bad. It's very, very easy to get turned around and messed up in this temple. Whoa, that's a huge water wheel. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay, so it's very watery and the water kind of sweeps you around in this temple. So here's what we're going to do first. We're going to do our Zora mask and we're going to dive down to this yellow platform that's here under the water. And basically, the whole point of this dungeon is to make the water flow in the proper way to unlock the things you're trying to unlock and get into the places you're trying to get into. Because if the water is flowing the wrong way, there's literally doors that, like, the water won't let you into. Okay, so you do that. And then we're going to go back towards where we just came from. And there's another stray fairy. Boom. Come to me. All right. There is another stray fairy in here. And come on. Oh, I want to surface. Get up there. All right. I think I saw him. Where is he? There's a big sculptula. Yeah, it's one of these sculptulas. You're supposed to kill them and then... You can get a stray fairy. And maybe it's that one? Okay, let's take off this. Oh, and we don't need fire arrows at the moment, so let's not waste magic. Use regular arrows. Come back down, platform. I think it's this sculpture that's over here by himself, is the one with the fairy. But I don't remember. I know it's one of these guys. You know what? Nobody likes you. Yeah. Okay, yes, it was this one.
come to me like fairies do. Yay, got the stray fairy. <clears throat> All right, we don't need this anymore. We. Get up there. All right, let's go the other way. I don't think I want to... No, I do want my bunny hood for this jump. All right, let's kill these guys so that they're not in our way. Too high. There we go. And I'm pretty sure that this dungeon has a lot of spots where the bunny hood will make you overshoot. So, why well, we're not doing that. Mmm, I get it. That huge water wheel's power in this thing. Okay, yes it is. The huge water wheel is powering everything in this dungeon. And here is the circular room. This basically is the room that makes everyone hate this particular dungeon. Because when you get down in there, the water just like takes you to a place and it's very hard to control which place you go to. So here's what we're gonna do first. We need to get over just to the other side. So we're gonna walk down and then climb up. And then you can see that we cannot get up there at the moment. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh no, wait, I don't think I needed to go all the way. Oh wait, yeah, this is why. We're gonna jump down there like that. That's why I put in my notes to do that, so that I wouldn't jump into the water to go over here. Stray fairy! There we go! Okay, now... Can I see it from up here? No, I need to jump down. Oh, Link, why did you do that? There was not a dive area. Okay, so now down here, there is this, can I hit it from there? No. Okay. There is a fairy in this pot. It is a bit annoying to get. I'm hoping I won't fall in the water. Come on, don't waste all of your arrows. Just hit it. There we go. Okay. Now let's get the great fairy mask. Aha, I did it. I didn't fall. I didn't fall in the, the swirling water. Okay, come on, fairy. <clears throat> come on. You can make it. Yay, I knew you could do it. All right, so now we want to get on the Zora mask and we want to go through that upper yellow door right there. Okay, so we're going to try to aim for that. Come on, go down. Oh. Did I? Oh, I went too far down. It's the upper. Damn it. Overshot. Come on, you can do it. Aim. There we go. Got it. All right. There's goodies for you in these chests if you need to fill up on anything. Um. Those things are annoying, so I was trying to kill them. Okay. Let's go back up. So we need to get over to that side, but we can't really climb up there, but we can climb up on this side. Bust these pots. Yeah. All right, so that's a chest. And one of the cool things with chests is they're made of wood. So you can totally like just hook shot over there. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Yeah. 
you got the map. Okay, so then we have the dungeon map. This is, um, <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't find the dungeon map super useful in this dungeon because it's so easy to get uh, lost that uh, you won't catch me looking at it. Okay, there's another fairy over there. And let's put on our fairy mask. Come to me. All right, so that was fairy number what? Fairy number six. All right. Mm -mm -mm. So we're not really gonna bother just yet going through that door. We'll worry about that later. We can't quite get over there yet. As you can see, there's quite a big gap between this one and this one. So instead, we would go back um, down through where we saw those Dexy hands, but it's actually getting close to break time. So we're gonna save. We're gonna save our state. I'm just gonna save it in a couple spots. Actually, let me do that, yeah. Start there. Save state, save it in all the spots. I get so paranoid that we're gonna lose the progress. So we're gonna save it in all the spots. Okay, all right. Okay, you guys, so that was two days, 100% Majora's Mask. We'll be, we will be doing more of this. Yes, um, Luna, are you, are you ready? We're gonna do Antihero in just a moment. All right, so we will be playing this next, not this coming Sunday because of the Final Fantasy X-2 event that we're doing it, but next Sunday we'll be playing more of Majora's Mask and getting through the Great Bay Temple. So for y'all watching on the YouTubes, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.